Hey all Sullivan University, it's Xander, and welcome back to Fire Emblem Fates Conquest. Last time, we recruited Leo's son, Forrest, to the team, after Leo and Nyx got the S rank, and this time we actually have a lot of supports to do. So, without further ado, let's see what Forrest has to say to his parents. Mother, you have wonderful timing! Hello, Forrest. Do you need something? Actually, I have something to give you. You got me a present? I did. It's a very special dress. Oh my, this is lovely. It looks so comfortable, it's just my size, too. I'm glad you like it. I'm a little relieved I was worried it wouldn't appeal to you. I appreciate you making this for me. How could I, you tell I made it? The handiwork is obvious. You're the only one that can do such delicate embroidery. Oh, thank you, Mother. Your kindness means the world to me. It's my wonderful garment. You even used all my favorite colors, too. I wish I could wear this dress every day. Oh, you don't have to do that. Besides, why would you want to wear the same thing? Honestly, I would love to make you a wide variety of dresses. <laughs> that would be lovely. Thank you, Forrest. Aww. Forrest, what's this? Are you sewing again? Ah, Father, I'm so sorry. Let me clean this up right away. There's no need to rush. Are you still working on that garment? I assume you didn't want to see this. I know you don't approve of me making feminine clothing. That's not true at all. Don't you enjoy making clothes? I know I've objected in the past, but that was very wrong of me. I never intend to dissuade you from following your passions. I'm... I'm so happy to hear you say that. Your sewing skills are most impressive. Perhaps you would consider making something special for me? Really? I would love to. Excellent. Say, when did you start learning to sew? A long time ago. It's funny, I was actually inspired because of a compliment you once paid me. When I was little, I ran around the house in a dress. You saw me and said I looked adorable. Did I really? You don't remember? It was a long time ago. I recall that dress so vividly. It made from white satin with tons of pink ruffles and soft lace. Yes. Yes, I remember now. If memory serves, it was a hand-me-down from Elise. One of her old summer dresses, initially. She gave it to a girl taking care of you. But you took one look at it and were instantly en enamored. I was only trying to satisfy my curiosity at first, but then you praised me. The moment meant a great deal to me. I felt elated. And that's when I took an interest in sewing my own clothing. Hmm. I never knew. Granted, I knew other boys didn't wear dresses or skirts, but I didn't care. I wanted elegant gowns and cute accessories. So I kept sewing and sewing, and I progressively improved. And when I put on, my, put on a dress and looked at myself in the mirror, I felt like a beautiful princess right out of a storybook. This is my new passion to help me forget all of my loneliness. Forrest. Before I knew it, my closet was filled with gorgeous clothing. I got to a point where I couldn't stop. I love making dresses and wearing them. Even if, it do, even if people don't understand and treat me poorly because of it, I won't stop. I'm so sorry, Forrest. No one should have ever made... No one should ever have to feel ashamed of who they are. The last thing I want is for my beloved son. No, father, please, it's all right. Knowing you understand me is all I need. Glad to hear it. One day I'll be so proud to have you carry on my title. It'll be my honor. Everything I know now is thanks to you. I'm glad I got to read that one. Excuse me. Up next we got Baruka and Benny's B. Support. You're so blank, Baruka. This is it? This is the conversation topic you'd think of? A non-starter, huh? Shrug. I don't care what we talk about. You'd think that would make it easy to talk to you, and yet... So am I hard to read, or what of it? I didn't mean anything by it. Just a thing I realized. Noted. Was there anything else, or is that it? Um. Benny, you clearly don't have anything to talk about. So why do you want to talk to me? No reason. You want to talk to me for no reason. Is that strange? You'd have to ask someone else. I'm not a good barometer of strange. We're allies. Is that an okay reason? Is that what you're going with? You wanted to talk because we're allies? Yeah. Yeah, let's go with that. Then you're a fool. I won't hesitate to kill anyone at all if that's the assignment given to me. Even my allies. It's a waste of my time chatting with someone I might someday have to kill. Okay. So, I'll just be going now. Poor Benny. Now then. This, I'm very interested to see this. Also, just because I'm curious of who all Xander could actually S rank. I was just curious. Uh, 
Thank you for coming so quickly, Charlotte. Of course, Prince Xander. But isn't this place reserved for members of the royal family? It is, yes. I'm deeply moved. I always wondered what it was like to be in here. But why? I would like for you to be able to come here whenever you wish. But for that to be possible, I must admit my feelings. What do you... W wait a minute. I know I'm normally a little silly, but can I say something up front and direct? Of course. This is messed up. Are you telling me you've fallen for me? Because I'm warning you, I get revenge for jokes made at my expense. But if that isn't the case, then I apologize for my words. I'm just struggling to understand what you're saying. Charlotte, I've felt a strong attraction to you since we first met. I would have said something sooner, but I was hesitant. I thought a relationship between us would be too complicated. Complicated? How could it be complicated? I felt that a prince should only be with someone of noble blood. But as I thought about it more, and as I learned more about you, I realized it wasn't an impossible situation in the least. I'm sure that we can over we can work together to overcome any hardship. <laughs> Sorry, there's um <laughs> my dog's being an idiot again. You're really fine with this? Wouldn't I become future Queen of Nor? You would. And that's what I would like. Well, I suppose I'll need to let my parents know my situation has changed a bit. Explaining the increase in how much money I send them each month. Haha. <laughs> ah, of course you send money to them. It's important to care for one's parents. Sander, I'm so excited for our future. Could you excuse me for a moment? I just need to poke my head out this window. Of course. What is it you do? Whoa! Oh, Charlotte, you never cease to amuse me. That was kind of cute, actually. Like, I know Charlotte kind of comes across as a gold digger when you first... Okay. I just nearly had a freaking heart attack. Um, so OBS, if you've never used it, has two things. It says live and recording. Recording is what I need to look at. I looked at live and didn't read, didn't notice it said live, not recording. And it said zero, zero. I thought that I'd just done all of that without recording. Also, I have no master seals and I'm a little annoyed about that. So, I need to check. Do I have the ability to upgrade the staff shop? No, I don't. Also, off screen, I upgraded Smithy. So, I think we actually should run in there and check real quick. Because I haven't used this, like, ever. Or swap. Can I... Get Onyx anyway. Here, I want some Onyx for a reason. I just, there, I swapped some crystals for Onyx. That's all I wanted. And can we forge anything? Uh, Major, can you not do that, please? Thanks. He's trying to lick my chair. Um, he's trying to upgrade Camilla's steel axe. Oh, never mind. Huh. I, I don't know. Let's just, just for the fun of it, let's try something here. Um, we're going to try and use Sully L, so let's try this Iron Sword. Um, I am going to call this sword... You could call it a sword... But you could also call it Ernest. Yep, I just named the sword Ernest. Why? I have no clue. Ah, they ain't anything else. Sorry, I didn't see Arthur was in there. I'm gonna talk in the Patrick Warburton voice while we go to the level select screen because of it. We have Paralog 15 unlocked now. So we're gonna go into that. Okay, I can do... Paralog 15, Hidden Bravery. You will probably hear Major jingling throughout this episode, because he does that for some reason. Brother? Brother, your son lives around here yet, does he not? Hmm, yes. I hope Sigbert as well. It's been too long since my last visit.
Father? Father? Is that you? By the gods, you've returned! My son, you've grown since last I saw you. I just can't believe it! You're actually really and truly here! Sorry, Father. I don't mean to get so carried away. It's just that... I received miss missives that update me on all the important things you're doing. Every time I get one, I wish I could hear it from all from you, but I know how busy you are. I hope you haven't been too disappointed in me. I mean, no! I would never think that of you, Father. Besides, I've been very busy myself. My studies of diplomacy, politeness, policy, politicies, etiquette, the arts of conversation, practicing my swordsmanship, even my penmanship. All of these lessons keep me busy from, de from dawn until dusk. I even dream it. It's in the hopes that you won't be too disappointed in me. How impressive. May I prove worthy of such a diligent, diligent son. Please don't say such a... Who's this approaching? They're back! What? Who's back? They return today of all days? At this moment? Damn them. Don't worry, Father. I'll take care of them immediately. Wait. Sigbert! What are you doing? Quit that. He's... Okay. So, in case you think I'm just getting mad at my dog for no reason. I'm not getting mad at my dog for no reason. He's licking the carpet. Alright, now we have a healer on the team, so that's good. I... Mm, we'll stick with Benny and Baruka now. Um... We still haven't put Percy back on the team yet. I want to figure out who we... How can we take off the team to use Percy? Wow, I think this might be the first... Hmm. Who has Ernest? Oh, right. Yeah, I forgot to switch that back to Faith. Does anyone have Ernest? Why does Sully not have Ernest? Oh, because Kana has him. There we go. Perfect. Oh my god. I'm an idiot if you aren't aware. Is Sigbert on our team? Yeah, I can just kind of command him. Cool. Um. So what are we dealing with here? Iron katanas. Nagatas. Bows. All the usual. Um. Throw Celiel with her brother. Um. Throw Midori with you. Forest, go with your father, because I want to see the conver I want to see more of the the Leo conversations there. Um, Nina. You know what? Midori, go with your mother, actually. And then Nina, pair up with Kana, because that could be some fun conversations. And then we save real quick. Let's do this. What's happening? There are never this many of them. The invaders seem to be emerging from the water itself. Curious. Perhaps there's a way to close these doors, so to speak. Alright, can I control him? Oh, I can. How strong is he? It is crazy. Like, just having Xander marry Charlotte so his son gets the blonde hair. Xander and his son look identical. It's pretty cool. I actually really like that. There we go. That keeps them from coming. You know what? Pair me up with Xander. Xander and Xander on the... Xander and Xander on patrol. I don't know. This is what happens at 10 o'clock at night. When I've had a long day at school. And I decided to do this anyway. I should probably let Midori do the attacking, actually. So yeah, you're probably wondering, you know, why are you not using Odin? Why are you not using... Wait, hang on. Why are you not using Odin? Why are you not using Jacob? Why are you not using... Uh... Well, I guess Odin and Jacob are the only other two we can actually get the kids for, besides Benny, that we haven't gotten them yet, because we're not getting Keaton's kid this playthrough. We'll get Keaton's kid in Revelation. Um, all 
Alright, so in this situation, you're under attack from three places at once. So... This is our best idea, the Iron Nagita. Naginata? Oh wow, we left him on one health. Who's left? Oh! Right. Siegbert. Well, yeah, obviously it makes sense for Xander's son to look like him. It's his son. But I did not realize that just with the blonde hair, he was going to look just like his dad. That's, like I said, it's kind of cute. Almost. This is coming from someone who could be twins with his dad. If his dad was 24 years younger. So. I don't find it cute with me and my dad, but that's different. Burn wood, dry water, stop reinforcements. Let's do that. Xander and Xander on the case. Get him, Benny. And there was guaranteed no chance we lost that one. Um... Go ahead and send Camilla and Midori here. Oh, go get him, Midori! Look at her go! She's got her mama's critical hit ratio. And she's maxed out level. I. Need. Master. Seals. Damn it. The only thing that worries me is that she can be attacked by both of these guys. Well, I don't know. They might, um... I don't know. Never mind. We'll figure out what's going to happen here. Go get him, Siegbert. Skadoosh. Weird that the uh, Rim Slayer was going to do so much. Alright, let's get him. I love Sully-El. Sully -El might be my favorite child unit in this game, to be totally honest. Get him, Nina! Can Nina kidnap? No, she can't. I was just curious. Alright. Okay, so long as they don't do 23 damage, we're going to be fine. Oh my god, that's going to do some serious damage, though. Oi, yikes! Ay, caramba! Way to go, brother. Oh, there are Sky Knights up there. I didn't even notice that. Okay. Go ahead and get you out of here. Get him, Sully-El. Go get him, girl. Look at her go. Yeah, you are pretty cool. Xander and I are pretty cool as well. Xander and Xander on the case. Can we acknowledge none of the Norian siblings have ever once acknowledged the fact that I can turn into a dragon? It's actually almost annoying at this point that they don't they don't even acknowledge it. Oh god. 
I think there's so many enemies that the best option, well, first of all, you can activate Dragon Banes because you're, you know, a Norian Royal. Uh, second of all, Time for, time for some murdering. How did that I miss with an 8% chance? Oh well. Get him, Leo! 99, wow. God! Really? This would happen. Like, this happened in black and... This happened in the Pokemon Black and White Let's Play. That's what led to it. Um... Oh, yikes. Sigbert, be careful. It's okay. We're going to be... Xander and I are going to be fine. But everyone else is in a little bit of danger, it looks like. So we're going to do Invasion next. Um, and then we're finally going to continue the story again in a couple episodes. I swear. We're getting really close to continuing the story again. I promise. Alright, here we go. Boom! Sigbert take him out. A little help from his Auntie Camilla while he's at it. He better not miss. Get him! Boom! And then, you know what we have? We have a cleric on our team. Watch this. Healing up his cousin. Which, that's a big reason why I'm not going to have the kids S-rank anyone, because most of them are related. Like, through cousins and stuff. And sure, maybe in like medieval times, that was fine. This ain't medieval times anymore, friends. Yeah, just do that. Oh, yikes! Oh, yikes! I didn't see you had that. I'm sure someone was probably screaming at me about that. Well, just line them all up. We'll knock them all down. That's what Xander and Xander do. Hey, you leave her alone. Oh, Saliel, I'm sorry. I swear, once I get some Master Seals, I will have them good and going, up and running like it's nothing. Use all Dragon Veins, then root the enemy. Do this. How many more dragon veins are there? I see one. Can I just do this through them? No, I cannot. Uh, there's one. I can almost get Camilla to it as well. I'm just gonna have Camilla start taking out everything in her way to get to this last dragon vein. How many enemies are left? 12, 11. Just to be safe. Oh, I could have attacked. Whoops. Didn't even cross my mind I could have attacked.
Oh well, we're gonna be fine. Oh no, a shuriken that's gonna do zero damage. I will say I've been enjoying these paralogs lately because I have not had to do as much for them. There's not as much strategy to them. I'm not having to micromanage every little thing. I'm getting new characters out of it that we get to use in the future. One damage it doesn't even hit us. Alright, he's good. Oh no, I think they froze Camilla in place. Crap, they froze Camilla in place. And that last dragon vein is right there. It's right there, man. Look, it's right there, Scoob. Alright, Xander and Xander are gunning for it. What's this guy have? A lance is like... Deadly to Xander? Okay. Um. Man, I gotta say we go for it. I mean, they can do four damage to us. We're gonna do sixteen to them. So we're doing four times the damage, and we're getting and we're blocking them half the time. So. fine. Alright, Kana. Man, I, I had high hopes for Ernest, but oh well. There we go. Take him out. I mean, I guess I might as well attack with the magic, because it's the best I can do here. Oh, you assholes. Leave the kid alone. Don't you freaking dare. Alright, final Dragon Band. This will stop all reinforcements from being called, I'm pretty sure. I see no more Dragon Bands. I am double checking the map, but I see no more. Took that one out. Iron Lance is our best option here. I was low key thinking we might get a critical out of that, but it doesn't look like it. Go ahead and get Camilla. Cam yeah, Camilla. Camilla healed back up. Just for safety more than anything. And who can still... Oh, these... I don't know why I keep forgetting these two are here. Wow. Oh, you've got a beast killer. I see. We have my own kind of beast killer. <laughs> Yeah, keep freezing, Camilla. Not like you can't call any more reinforcements. There's only eight of you, and there's still a good bit more of us. And uh, make that eight seven. And 
how's about How's about we turn that seven into six? Or actually not yet, but we want a second. That's annoying. I mean, I, I get that it, it makes sense, but... Let's turn that seven into six. Had to double check my sass. Leo, can we not miss... So that seven is still seven. Now we turn it into six. Okay. Oh, do they not have a support? That's kind of... I don't know, I guess I thought they might have a support. Let's turn that six into five. Oh, there is a dragon vein. That enemy was just standing on it. So that six just became six again. Well. Let's turn that six back into five. Let's make that five into a four. Or actually, we probably aren't. Or we are. Five becomes four. Camilla levels up, which we don't see often. Make that four and the three. These two are going to be a little late to the party. Three and the two. They're going to call another reinforcement after this turn. I'm positive. Yep, three became three again. Okay. So let's turn three back into two. Two becomes one. And one. 
becomes zero for the glory of Nor. That's unfortunate. I was hoping it was going to say Xander and Xander. But it makes sense. This isn't the first time these enemies have come here, is it? Why didn't you notify me? I just couldn't bring myself to do that, Father. I expect you to do your duty, son. I'm sorry. But I've heard so many tales of what an important leader you are. You've got a whole realm to look after. Countless lives. If I can't manage a few incursions here, if I couldn't defeat them... I wouldn't be so worthy of being called your son, so I couldn't tell you. Commendable. But I've hardly done anything worthy of such praise. Not many people need to learn how to shoulder such burdens alone. You do. I'm sorry to say, yet I've never had to tell, never had to tell you so. You came to just, you came to that realization on your own and met it all just as by yourself. Incredible. You truly think so? I worried I was bringing shame on your name. Son, while you've grown into your role, I've failed in mine. I'm not just a ruler, I am a father, and I have a son to look out for. From now on, be sure to tell me anything that's on your mind. Um, then may I... could I possibly... I want to join you, father. What? Join me. I... I know why you placed me here, to keep me out of the war. But I believe that I will serve our kingdom far better than there, there than here. Listen. The war is more brutal than you've read in the mist... Missives sent to you. Battlefields, battlefields, are blo battlefields are bloody. Lives are lost. What you see might haunt you. Are you truly prepared for that? There's no dishonor in saying no. Indeed, I will send you back here if I pro if you prove unready. Yes. yes, I am. I swear that I am. I see. I see. I trust you know yourself better than I do, son. Then you are welcome on our grim march, Sigbert. Th thank you, father. I won't get in your way. Together, Together son. We march together. Not apart. But I give you my oath. I will defend your life at all cost. This is my privilege as your father. And your right as my son. I love it. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this episode of Fire Emblem Fates Conquest. If you liked the video, leave me a like. Tell me in the comments down below what you think the series so far. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. It's free. It's easy. I'll see you all tomorrow for whatever's next. Xander out.